Sag. Hey, Sag. Hey, hey, Sag. Hey, Sag. Hey, Sag. Hey. Hey, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend. And um, thank you so much for being here once again. Um, for especially new people, new, you know, those who are new to tarot, just keep in mind, keep an open mind when you're watching general readings, okay? Because it's a general reading, it's not made just for you. So what may not resonate for you will resonate for somebody else, okay? It's a general reading. If you need something that is attuned to your situation, then you would want to book a personal reading. Um, also keep in mind that this could be happening now in the near future or the future. The readings are timeless, so you could watch these at any given point and they may resonate for you. If something doesn't sound like it's happening for you now, obviously, it could happen at any given point, okay? It's a general reading for that reading. I mean, for that reason in particular. All right, so here we go. Sagittarius, what is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Spirit? What do you have coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay, what is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay, attraction. Stay optimistic about your love life. One more card. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay. Playfulness. Okay. Finances and career. Woo. All right. What is free card? Okay. Let me use these cards. I haven't used them in a little minute. Let's see if the I'm sorry card is going to come out again. A lot of you are focused on the Benjamins. A lot of you are focused on your bag. You know what I'm saying? Focus on your money right now. Doing you. Catching flights, not catching feelings. You know, and just kind of doing you, right? Keep seeing finances and career. That even showed up here. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love, Spare? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius? Ooh, divorce. Passionate romance, divorce. So for some of you, this is um, your husband, your wife, obviously, or your person could be dealing with their husband or wife. You have healing your heart. A lot of you are, you know, healing your heart. There's a passion and romance here. And then you have read between the lines. Bottom of the deck is renewal, but that's in the reverse. So Sagittarius. Okay. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love spirit? Cut the deck. I already seen Taurus. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, maybe even a Libra. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love spirit? What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Sagittarius. Woo, Jeff. All right, you got death. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? A no good Scorpio. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love, please? Cross watchers, keep in mind that the situation here can be reversed, okay? Meaning that the Sagittarius may have done X, Y, and Z. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? So I'm kind of really picking up on fixed energy here. Right, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. The tower is in the reverse. So what I'm seeing here, um, Sagittarius, a lot of you may be feeling as though you just don't have any luck in your love life or things are just not going your way. A lot of you may feel stuck. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Justice. Some of you may be holding on to a marriage or something that's falling apart that you know that you need to release or a relationship that's falling apart. What is coming towards Sagittarius in love? Yeah, some of you are dealing with a no good Taurus. Ooh, child. You got the King of Pentacles showing up here. This is, okay, so Sagittarius, whoever the hell this person is, you're very suspicious of them. Okay, you don't trust this person. I can clearly see that. Um, and that's because this King of Pentacles, whoever the hell this person is, they're not loyal to you. They're not faithful to you. 
okay? Some of you may have found something out about them, whether online or through their phone. Some of you are like, I'm going to go through your motherfucking phone. And you found some shit, and you're ready to sign them papers. You got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So you're definitely unhappy with this person. Keep in mind, if you're not in a relationship, maybe this could be something your person's going through with, you know, with their partner. Okay, what is coming towards Sagittarius in love? What else do you want to show me? What else do you want to show me? Okay, Ooh, a lot of major arcana here, Sagittarius, which definitely tells me that there's a real need to start a new chapter in your life, okay? There's a real need to out with the old and in with the new. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. The Hierophant is in the reverse. A lot of you, okay, this you may not even be in a relationship with whoever the hell this person is, okay? Um, but obviously, there's a lack of change in the situation. Maybe you've been trying to get somebody to change, okay? You've been trying to push for commitment or push for more with whoever the hell this person is. But someone in the situation could definitely be non-committal. Okay, you got the nine of swords in reverse. So whatever you're worried about, Sagittarius, it looks like you have a good reason to worry about it. Okay. Um, but the good thing is, Sagittarius, I feel like I see like a new offer being made towards you with the knight of cups. I see somebody new coming in towards you. So you may be in, in, in an, like a relationship that's kind of running its course, a marriage that's running its course. Um, some of you may just feel stuck with this person or in this situation, okay? But I feel like the universe wants you to put an ending to something with the tower in the reverse, but some of you, you haven't. So if you don't end it with this person, Sagittarius, I see the universe stepping in. And when the universe has to step in, it's not going to be pretty, okay? Because the universe is really going to make it very uncomfortable and it's going to be very un unexpected for you, Okay? Because the universe is trying to put you on the right path, right? So if someone is settling and staying in something that's unhappy and just, that's not fulfilling them, okay? There's a, you got to release it. But all the major arcana is in the reverse. You got the Knight of Cups. So I do see somebody trying to... I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like this is a new person. Tell me about justice coming towards Sagittarius in love. I feel like this is uh, someone who tends to constantly, like, apologize to you. You know, I'm sorry, but it's like they do the same thing over. You see, you don't want to hear it. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to hear it anymore. Whoever the hell this person is, you're, you you don't want to hear it. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for Sagittarius in love. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Ooh. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune in a reverse, please. Wheel of Fortune reverse. So, yeah, you're in something that's extremely stagnant, okay? Whether you're hoping this person will commit to you or not, I'm seeing a lack of commitment from whoever the hell this person is. And I feel like some of you are really forcing things with whoever the hell this person is. So spirit is like really trying to warn some of you. Tell me about this no good king of pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about this no good king of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so this is, so wow. Sagittarius, whoever the hell this person is, they're making you false promises. They're kind of um, telling you what you want to hear, but they're full of shit. I don't like to see the knight of cups in reverse. This is someone who's full of shit. Death in the reverse. They may come back and always apologize, but they're not changing. That's because they're not sincere. This person's not being sincere with you. Tell me about Page of Swords. So, a lot of you definitely suspect that you may be being juggled, okay? Or, you know, this person's just trying to play the field. And they are. They are. Tell me about this tower in the reverse. Some of you suspect that they're involved. They are. They're full of crap. You see what I'm saying? 
if dealing with a motherfucker is enough to put you in this energy, that ain't it. That ain't it. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius in love. Why is this Knight of Cups coming towards Sagittarius? So I feel like I see that you guys are kind of done trying to fix things. You're done trying to fix things with this person. I mean, for most of you, you probably really already done ended this with this person. But some of you are still dealing with them. Because you're not seeing that this person is um, just, they're only taking advantage of you. They're selfish. They don't give a damn. So let's pull from this oracle. Angel, what is coming towards Sagittarius and love in this love situation? Tension. Turbulence, arguments, and stress. Drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. So you and your partner could be, you know, drifting apart. You got feminine energy. Illusions, clouded judgment. Yeah. This is someone who's filling your head up with a lot of BS. Baby, please, you know, they, they always got a sorry for you. They always have a sorry for you. All right, angels. Why is this person in a situation coming towards Sagittarius in love? Why is this person? Wow. Why is this person in a situation coming towards Sagittarius in love? So a lot of you give up. A lot of you feel as though um, you're not going to find what you're looking for. Okay. You're just feeling very hopeless. But spirit, of course, is telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They're not, um, whoever the hell this person is, they're, putting, they're not putting much effort in, okay? And a lot of you, I see you healing, okay? But spirit wants you to be positive and optimistic, okay? Because I see a lot of you are feeling very weak. You're feeling um, like you're kind of just succumbing to... Like, you just want to give up. That's kind of what I'm getting. Strength in reverse. You got the devil in the reverse. The ace of swords in the reverse. Yeah. Spirit, spirit is really telling some of you that you need to take a break. Back away from the assholes. You need to take a break, okay? You need to take time to devote to yourself, to your, to your, um, your mental health, your emotional health. Because some of you really dis, uh, disconnected or detached from someone that's really toxic. Okay, someone who really had a, a hold on you, okay? And some of you may not even really be ready yet to, to really, you know, put yourselves out there again or be with anybody because, I mean, whoever the hell this person was, Sagittarius, I mean, they really did a number on you. Angels, who could this person be? Who could this person be? Taurus, Scorpio, very strong. A Pisces, possibly. Who could this person be? Laws and justice. Who could this person be? Spring, Aries, Taurus, um, Pisces again. Maybe you met them in spring. You have dog here. Who is this person, spirit? Who is this person? Jim? Who is this person, Spirit? Who is this person? Meeting through a friend. Interesting. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this is a reading. Um, this is like a warning type of reading. Kind of like what I did for Leo. This is a warning. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Love you guys very much. And I will see you guys next time.